Hi, it's Codename Gamma again. I didn't expect to make another video today, but I'm kind of getting the tired of the question is how do I use Cheat Engine? How do I use this cheat table? How do I use this thing? How do I get it installed? Where do I download Cheat Engine? Etc, 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 etc. So to download Cheat Engine, go to CheatEngine.org, click this big thing that says Download Cheat Engine. It downloads. It's the installer. Run the installer. Read through the installer each page carefully because at some point it's going to ask you if you want to install a toolbar. You don't want to install the toolbar, so you check I don't agree and you continue with the installation. It gets installed and then you're good to go. Once Cheat Engine gets installed, you want to go ahead and click start, find it, run it. You may have to right click it more, run as administrator. And then once you have Cheat Engine running in Administrator, you can click Open, select your cheat table. If it asks you to merge because you already had one loaded, then you already had one loaded. You didn't have to click Open. Then you're going to click this uh, computer here to find the process, select Sonic Mania, and boom, you're good to go. Uh, at this point, you should see a lot of numbers filled in. If not, you may need to get into the main game for that to happen. If not, then you either have the wrong version of the game or you don't have the correct version of the cheat table for this version of the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you have to kind of play around with it and tweak values, turn stuff on and off. Uh, just checking something doesn't mean that it's on. What this check means is that the value is locked to whatever you set it to, or whatever it says the value is. So if you want it to never have a shield, then you would change that, so you'd just leave that alone and you would lock it at zero. Uh, a better example would be with rings, so where's my rings at? Mania mode, rings, there's my rings at 185. Turn on the controller, and then of course I'm stuck, because that's how the game is. So see, instead of resetting it, I'm still at 185, and for some reason it thinks I'm player 2, which is just dandy, isn't it? So more than one way to skin a cat, and... Obviously. And we'll do some sonic abuse and you'll see that our rings don't go down. Yeah, so that that, that value gets locked at that and that's how it is. Uh, same with time, if we lock it, see our milliseconds don't go down, or shouldn't go down, but it's writing so many per second that we don't get a chance to lock it. Seconds, it's fine. Uh, if it says script, there is no value to set. You just turn it on or off using that check. And yeah, that's it. Other stuff you're going to have to play around with. If there's a number and you're not sure what it does, try doubling it. And then going back in game and seeing what it does. Um, if you're still not sure, then you might, then you probably shouldn't mess with it. If it says object, then refer to the object list and play around with it. If the game crashes, then it crashes because it did something you it shouldn't be doing. So restart the game, reattach the process, try again. If it still crashes, then you're doing something else wrong or you're forcing the game to do something it doesn't like. Uh, it happens. This game's crashed on me millions of times now because I made it do stuff it didn't like to do. And yeah, that's just how it is. Uh, so sorry for the impromptu video, but you know, got so many questions. And I guess people just needed to know how to do this stuff. Uh, there it is. Yeah, uh, you guys have a nice day. Don't forget to watch the other video if you need information about releases and what's going on there. 
Uh, have a great day.